This local sports report is presented by the Guelph Minor Football Association, proudly developing players in Guelph for community high school and youth sports football for over 25 years. Learn more about their tackle and flag programs by visiting guelphminorfootball.net. District 10 football under the lights. We've got our Lady of Lourdes and the Guelph Collegiate Gales battling in week four at Alumni Stadium. Second quarter, here's the first scoring play of the night. The Crusaders trying to get the ball out of the end zone. The Gales with other ideas. They bring down Dace and Chang Herrera for a safety. Guelph Collegiate is on the board first. They are up 2-0. Later in the second, the Gales with a trick play and it works. Sean Singh to Elliot Duncan and he hits Tanner Bothwell. What a play from the Gales picking up a first. First down. GC, though, with no points on the possession, it stays 2-0. Then we've got a clutch interception from the Crusaders. Abraham Omad is on the goal line. He rages up and picks it off. The Crusaders get the ball out of danger, running it to the 15-yard line. The Gales up 2-0 at the break. Third quarter now, it's another beauty passing play from the Gales. Sean Singh escapes the pressure, and he completes it to Lincoln McMillian. But once again, Guelph Collegiate would come up empty on the possession. Still a two-point ball game. Back to the highlights in a minute. And at first, a reminder, this video is presented by Guelph Minor Football, a proud supporter of D10 Football. Learn more about the Junior Griffins tackle and flag programs at GuelphMinorFootball.net. Let's head to the fourth, and the Crusaders breaking through. Cody Walker flips it over to Ashton Phillips, and here goes Phillips. He's motoring down the near sideline, and he's got a touchdown. That's a 47-yard TD. Our Lady of Lords takes the lead. They are up 7-2. The Gales looking to answer but it's a huge play from Dason Chang Herrera. He picks it off and it's a clear path to the end zone. It's a pick six. Herrera coming up clutch. He gives the Crusaders a 12 point advantage. Later in the fourth, Cody Walker looking for an open receiver. He can't find anyone so he takes off. Walker charging down the field and it's a huge play from the Lourdes QB. That play leading to a field goal. The Crusaders up 17-2 and that was the final. Lourdes picking up their first win of the season in District 10 football.